All right, guys and gals, here we are. This is our 22-foot uh, custom trailer, the most custom trailer that we've ever built yet. Uh, 14,000 GVW, pair of 7,000-pound axles. Has heat and AC. A little trap door here. Pull your hose in and out of. So we've got a double door system here, like on some of our other trailers. You see here we have a 40 kW diesel generator with a screw compressor, 35 CFM hydro vane screw compressor. Has a built-in fuel tank and a couple of air cylinders to hold the air from the screw compressor. This package right here is about $23,000. All one tight little footprint. So again here we got the double door system. Opens up. 35 kW diesel generator. Has a built-in fuel tank. Air cylinders to hold the air from this 35 CFM screw compressor, hydro vane compressor. All runs off of this handy little pad right here. And we're going to fire this up in just a minute. Vented through the roof, it's been waterproofed. Again, this is about a $23,000, $24,000 package right here. All right guys, so again, these are a pair of 7,000 pound axles on uh, 16 inch wheels. Brakes on all four wheels. Again, a 22 foot custom trailer. Seven foot interior. So the compressor and generator is running right now. I'm going to do a quick walk around. The guys working in the back. See the generator running. We'll walk to the back of the trailer. Again, we're the first ones. I don't think I've ever seen this on any trailer ever. We have a ramp door that also operates with a little man door. This trailer is going to North Dakota and when it's really cold out they didn't want to have to open that big old ramp door so now they can just jump in and out of this trailer just by using this man door. And you'll see we have a trailer full of people in here. Hooking everything up, getting it ready for its maiden voyage. <laughs> Alright, we have two, four, six, eight, nine people in this trailer. <laughs> We're all freezing cold because the AC. Yeah, the AC yeah. works so good. <laughs> Someone's got We're all hiding out in here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know you always <laughs> Alright guys, so we're up inside this trailer now. We provided this multiple drawer work chest cabinet. All the power from that front generator comes into this panel box here. We've labeled it for outlets, AC, and you'll see here we have a lockout system and that allows us to run this trailer of 110 volts for lighting, for heating, AC, and the uh, outlets for future potential heat plates. 
So we're doing a little training here. Matt's explaining how to prime the system so out. I've got my ball valves closed in the back of the machine. Right now I'm trying to check the release. Okay, so I'm going to open this up and it's going to go to that back wall valve. So we're priming the system out. You can hear the drum pump pump. So They're sending material right all there, the right? way down this line. All the way to the back of the machine. Where we have some more check valves. Valves you can turn on and off to allow material into the machine. Right now they're closed and we're just pressure testing this rig on its maiden voyage. See Matt's going to open them up. He's letting fluid into the machine. Which in turn will start sending fluid down the hoses. That's the A side he just opened. We're going to open the valves on the front of the machine. This is now allowing fluid to flow into the spray hoses. We can see here we've got pressure coming in to the regulator. We also have these pressure temperature blocks on the wall. We can see by the bottom gauge we have pressure coming out of the drum pumps. And the temperature right now is about 95 degrees. That's the temperature of the material. Again, that's going to the machine. And what we're doing now is Jacob's going to open the valves on the end of the spray hose. We have 400 feet of spray hose here. He can take off sections of this hose as he needs it just by simply unclipping it and taking the hose out and using it as he needs it. There's another 200 feet of hose. He's bleeding the air out of it right now. Air and some hydraulic oil that we had inside the machine when we got here. So they're bleeding the B side out right now. That's how a good healthy drum pump is supposed to sound. You can see the regulator showing we have pressure. Everything in this trailer is color coded. You see we got blue hoses here for the resin side. Everything over here is red. Red block, red hoses, red pump. Same thing here on this side. Red hoses, red block, red pump, or blue pump. And everything on the machine is color coded. What we're doing here now is we've got the drum pumps running in the trailer. We're trying to bleed this 400 feet of hose free of hydraulic oil, air, until we start getting some foam material into the uh, block here at the end of the hose. Here's the back end of our custom trailer. We got four guys in there talking about the rig. We're priming the rig out right now. You'll see on the right side there's 200 feet of hose. And then it uh, goes overhead with quick disconnect so you can take another 200 feet of hose out if you need it. This is a roof rig. A lot of roofs will use for 400 foot of hose easily. So much faster than this one. And this is probably Here's this pump running right now. We're pumping ISO down to the end of the hose, getting ready to spray. Alright, so we're priming the system right now, trying to get foam to the uh, end of the hose. We have 400 feet of hose on here, so this may take a minute. This is our first priming of this system, and uh, we have to purge out any hydraulic oil or air that's left in the line. So we are uh, heating this hose up now started at probably about 95 degrees. It's at 102 now. I think our target temperature is 120 degrees and we'll wait just a few minutes for it to get there. It's uh, six or about a foot from each table. It's twisted together. It's buried on the A side of the core of the hose. That's where it makes the temperature. So we're priming the system. Jacob's actually getting ISO and resin mixed with some hydraulic oil that we use to touch the system. We'll let this run for just a couple minutes, make sure we have uh, all of the hydraulic oil and the air out of the system.
we're doing here we're still purging some of the oil out you see it bubbling in the bucket that is the chemical reaction between the hydraulic oil and the isocyanate a side chemical here we are guys back of the trailer the guys are on the roof spraying right now we have 400 feet of hose you see our quick disconnect system up top allows us to take more hose down as we need it the original 200 feet that they're using right now probably 150 foot of it on the roof you see everything's color coded we've got the red rack we've got the blue rack we got the blue hoses the blue blocks the blue pumps everything on the machine is color coded hey, red and blue all the handles all the lights everything again everything's color coded you'll see the hoses coming out even the lights and the switches on the machine are all color coded red for iso blue for resin spraying three pound roof foam right now pressures are dead on this is our 514p stands for preheater those heaters aren't even on right now because it's 95 degrees outside machine operating you can hear the drum pumps pumping machine pumping here we are spraying some foam with the rig that we just set up and that's the end of it thanks guys stay tuned